Hi, and welcome to the Coveo for Sitecore version 7 product demonstration. During this time, we'll cover such topics as the default Coveo JavaScript search interface features, including faceting, search within facet groups, and other out-of-the-box facet options, sorting, breadcrumbs, the Coveo Omnibox, as well as indexing external content. We'll also take a look at some advanced search controls, including visual refiners, slider bars, date pickers, and smart facets. Lastly, we'll cover how to create a search interface, including building the search interface page, adding Coveo search interface components, building filter expression rules, configuring and adding facets to the search page, configuring and adding sorts to the search page, as well as showing custom weighting and boosting for content. Let's start by looking at an example of the new JavaScript search interface provided by Coveo. We'll work within the context of the Sitecore provided template site, Jetstream. To review the functionality, we'll take on the role of three different travelers of differing profiles. The business traveler, who has very specific arrival and departure date requirements, and is also interested in travel duration, as well as hotel and flight accommodations like Wi-Fi. The family traveler, who is interested in uh, traveling with children, has specific requirements for when they can leave, what time they arrive, and are also interested in family attractions and activities. And finally, the fun traveler, who prefers a spur-of-the-moment personal vacation and has flex flexible departure and arrival times and dates, and is looking for interesting places to visit and things to do. As a quick tour of the search interface, you'll notice some of the common strengths of the Coveo search experience. We'll start with the business traveler, who is a more stringent traveler with definitive requirements for both arrival and departure, and with some requirements on pricing options and available amenities during his travel. You'll notice that geolocation can be used by Coveo to start his hunt for flights, showing the nearest airports available with flights for his location. Upon arriving at the Jetstream search results page with Coveo, you'll notice a wealth of opportunity and options for further search and criteria selection for the flights. At the top above the search results, you'll notice cabin class and departure airports already predefined based on specific criteria, either by defined criteria for defaults, such as economy, and departure airport based on geolocation inputs. These criteria can be selected individually or collectively to add and remove criteria as needed, such as my departure airport, which is only Logan, and I'll stay looking for economy-based cap and class. Additional criteria can be defined using Coveo's facets, which are on the left, including things like the date picker control, which allows me to define the start and end dates for my travel, my arrival time to ensure that I'm available at the time needed for the meetings when I arrive, my arrival airport, as well as any in-flight features such as Wi-Fi to enable me to finish my work prior to arrival. I've now reduced my number of options from several hundred to a few in just a matter of a few the family traveler comes with it its own set of challenges, but we can use alternate methods of data input and interaction with Coveo to really define all the search criteria for the trip. Coveo's Omnibox, which is based in the Coveo search box, provides search suggestions based on fields of Sitecore content and auto-populates based on matching text strings of Sitecore field content. In this case, it allows me to look directly for tri uh, trip preferences within the search box, such as cabin class, in this case, economy, departure airport, arrival airport, and any in-flight amenities I may want to keep the kids busy. In order to ensure that I depart at the right time, I can select a later time for departure and an earlier time for arrival, just to make sure I get the kids down on time. 
And lastly, the fun traveler, who can afford to select a rough date range and be loose within a two-week window for arrival and departure dates, since he's got some margins of flexibility with his schedule. Additionally, Caveo's facet groups offer lots of flexibility when it comes to navigation options, such as selection of departure and arrival airports, as well as the ability to search within facet groups to find information like in-flight, Wi-Fi, food service, and where personal entertainment may be important. Let's take a look at how simple it is to create the highly effective search experience with Coveo Insight Core we've just seen. As a note, it's assumed that the work done to this point has been that both the Coveo and Sitecore are installed and running, and the Coveo for Sitecore plugin is deployed. So Coveo and Sitecore are communicating, and the Sitecore content is being indexed. If you've been familiar with Coveo and Sitecore solutions in the past, integration steps require that you need to be somewhat proficient and at least know your way around both Sitecore as well as Coveo administration. This is no longer the case. In less than an hour, as part of the Coveo and Sitecore integration, you can now, directly within the context of the Sitecore content editor role in the Sitecore administration, you can create the configuration for search, you can create an index and manage the indexing updates, as well as create and configure search pages. To show you how simple it is to create a new Coveo for Sitecore interface in Sitecore, we'll use the Jetstream demo site and log in to the content editor role. Once logged into the Sitecore Content Editor role, we'll create a new Coveo search page. This provides you with the pre-configured, out-of-the-box search interface consisting of all Coveo JavaScript resources, controls, and elements already added, as well as the defined zones for search results, faceting, and sorting. Do this by clicking Content, Home, Insert, and Coveo Search Page. Then, with the Sitecore new demo search page selected, click Publish, and then Page Editor. You'll notice that you're already seeing Coveo search results in the body of the search page with the basic results formatting and layout. Since Coveo is able to index all Sitecore content due to its integration capabilities, you're seeing all content automatically rendered in search results. We can limit the scope of search to just those items we want to include as part of the search user's experience. To do so, we'll set a content filter to include only flights. To do this, select the Coveo search area and click on Edit Properties. You'll notice that Coveo integrates very well within the Sitecore Rules Set Editor to include Coveo options for filtering and boosting as well. Select Edit Rule under Filter Expressions Rules. In the Rule Set Editor, any number of rules can be selected, including Coveo rules. For this rule, and in order for us to only see flights, click on Coveo, where the item template is a specific template. Select Specific Template, then locate the Jetstream flights. And click OK. You'll notice that you now only see flights within the search results page. Now let's add some Coveo controls to add some power to our search page. We'll include some faceting components as well as some sorting components. To add facets to our page, click on Home, Component, 
and then on the left column, add to here for faceting. Then select Covea Facet and click Select. Define a facet by giving it a title and selecting any of the available fields within Sitecore that can be used for faceting. In this case, Departure Airport. You can also select any number of options to configure your facets per group, such as number of default values shown in the group, sorting rules, and the use of the AND and the OR operator, as well as search within the facet group. Once clicking OK, you'll notice that the departure airport facet has been displayed. We'll also to continue to add facets to these groups, such as arrival airports, cabin class, as well as in-flight amenities. Now let's add some Coveo sorting components to our search page. To do so, select Home, then Component, then Add to Here below the Coveo query box, which is designed for the template Coveo sorting placeholder. Select Coveo sort component, then click Select. First we'll add a title, and then select one of many sort types, including relevancy, date, and query ranking expression, or QRE, as well as field. For this, we'll select relevancy. The relevant sort by control is now shown directly below the query box. We'll also add field-based sorting, at this time based on price, as an attribute of the flight object in Sitecore. Again, we'll select Home, Component, then Add to Here in the Coveo Sort area. We'll select the Coveo Sort control and click Select. This time in Settings, we'll give it a title of Price in a sort type of field. In the sort field, we'll select the template flight and the field price. We'll also choose a sort direction of ascending to show the most inexpensive flights near the top by default, and also the toggle option to toggle sort direction, switching the least to most expensive as the user prefers. The sort by direction is now shown at the top with relevance and price in ascending direction. In many cases, we may want to influence the user's site and search experience 
based on any number of criteria, including geography, user profile, or preferred content promotion. As an example, we can increase the weighting of specific destination airports during ski season. In this case, we'll focus on the Quebec airport. To do so, we'll select the Coveo search properties, edit the boost expression rules, which allows any number of criteria to be selected to boost and promote content. In this case, we'll select where Coveo has a specific field that compares to a specific value. We'll select the arrival airport, is equal to the Quebec airport. Then we can assign a result weight number. In this case, we'll set it to 100. Click OK. You'll now notice that the arrival airports are defaulting to the most significant and relevant values for the Quebec airport. Additionally, there are also occasions when specific content needs to be focused on or made more important for specific users or groups. In this case, we may want to focus on placing priority on specific trips or putting content in an area of priority for better visibility such as a tropical trip package during the winter season. To place priority on a tropical climate promo card on the landing page, a number of administrative steps can be taken. To see how the Beach Getaway promo card was promoted on the Sitecore landing page, we'll go into the Sitecore content editor and open the presentation details for Sitecore, content, home, and landing. We'll notice the Coveo driven card search in the main layout. And finally, the very similar boost expression rule, keying on the title field equal to beach getaway and promoting a result weight set to 100. So it's simple in a few basic steps to create high powered, fully featured search using Coveo for Sitecore. Other advanced features such as adding advanced search controls like sliders and calendar controls as we saw earlier, or to index external content and make other content sources not inside Sitecore available to the search experience is also possible. But this is outside the context of what we're covering here for the basics of this discussion. Thanks so much for your attention, and please remember to contact your Coveo sales representative for additional details about Coveo for Sitecore search solutions as well as other solutions.